Today's reforms, <clears throat> we are duty bound to accept the election outcome. But if we don't have reforms, we are going to go down the same path of contestations upon contestations. But there's one thing we have said. We are going to defeat ZANU-PF at home and away, with or without their willingness. We have said this and we continue to say it. This is why they are so desperate and they are panicked and this is why they are resorting to violence, they are resorting to intimidation and terror uh, in the countryside. We know what they are doing to the chiefs, to the villagers. We know what they are doing, uh, sending people into communities, terrorizing people and threatening them. That's not what uh, liberation was all about. That's not what revolutionaries do. That is what reactionaries do. That is what people who are uh, retrogressive too. We want to make sure that elections are held in a free and fair environment. So we have a bill that's before Parliament, an electoral bill. Let's agree on the things that are supposed to be uh, you know, agreed upon and to be uh, reformed. Once we agree on the security of the vote, the credibility of the voters' flow, and the auditability of that voters' flow, the diaspora vote, we are able to agree on the issue of the credibility of real-time announcement of the vote, especially from the various polling stations and the deployment of those polling stations. If we agree on all those things, power, you know, um, uh, uh, transfer mechanisms so that n nobody uh, chooses to succeed themselves even if they lost an election. Those are the things that we must be able to resolve. They are in prepare, which is our document, we have put on the table. We have also given to SADC, to the AU, and to all those who would care to listen, including the United Nations, because we want an undisputed election. In fact, the key to stability, prosperity, and, of course, success of our great country is the ability of Zimbabweans to converse, to dialogue, to come reason together. And I've said to my brother Mnangagwa, come, let us reason together. Let us gather people and don't scatter them. But he has